Welcome to another edition of Nuts and Bolts with the Bombshells from Harley-Davidson of Dallas in Allen, Texas. How long has it been since you revved up your engine? Were you ready for a long ride? Well, if you're ready, let us get you off on a good start. We need to check your engine oil. Make sure to let your engine idle for a few minutes. Knock some dust off of it. This allows the oil to heat up just a little to give you the best check on fluid levels. Remember, your oil level will rise as the bike gets hot, so we want the engine warm while we're working. Turn the engine off and let the bike sit for just a little while though. Don't want to burn yourself. Next, make sure the bike is on its side stand. Be sure to grab a rag, but hell, we don't mind getting a little dirty. On the right side of the bike, where the swing arm meets the frame, you'll see the oil plug. Pull your dipstick out and wipe your dipstick off so you can get an accurate reading. Insert your dipstick all the way in and take it out one more time to check the level. While you're down there, you'll want to check your transmission fluid level. This is also on the right side of the bike. You'll need the bike completely upright to do this correctly. Make sure to have a 3 8 Allen wrench handy. Use your handy Allen wrench to unthread the O-ring from the transmission. Pull out your dipstick and check the O-ring for any damage. Wipe off your dipstick nice and clean. Pull it back out once more and check the level on your dipstick. Ideally, you want it right in the middle. Checking your fluid should be a routine practice on your Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Let us check your fluids. Be sure to bring your ride into Harley-Davidson of Dallas for its recommended oil change every 2,500 miles and its transmission fluid change at 20K. Thank mm-hmm. you.